Last year, I reviewed the Wolfpack 45 liter meal management backpack. We're gonna update that review today a little bit, but mostly we're gonna compare it with this guy, the Wolfpack 25 liter standard backpack, non meal management version. We're gonna see how they stack up, how they compare and contrast. If I think one of them is more appropriate than the other for day to day use, everyday tasks, travel, etc., And we're gonna break it all down right here. Hey everybody, Darren Starr here, contest prep coach, 5starphysique.com. You can read about everything that I do up there. I wanted to revisit, first of all, the review that I posted last year on this 45 liter meal management bag from Wolfpack. I can tell you a few things about this. First of all, I have not used it much because I don't find it terribly functional for day-to-day -day use. And it's because this meal management compartment here, which is great and still has my isopack thing in it, um, is just too big. I mean, it's, it's as big as it needs to be, but as far as a backpack, it eats up a lot of useful backpack space that would be good for you know other things. So my goal when I got this was to see if, hey, is this gonna be a good everyday gym bag, day-to-day -day use? And the answer is really no, because the ISO pack that I have and I've had for years, um, it just holds more stuff. And I carry enough stuff to the gym with me on a daily basis that this thing just doesn't cut it. I can put stuff in this meal management compartment here, but still it's like, it's cutting the space in half. It's dividing it inefficiently. I'm reserving this. This is really like my travel carry on. If I have to fly, I need a day's worth of meals with me when I go through TSA and I'm stuck in airports all day long. This is my go-to bag for that. For day-to-day -day use in the gym, I still use the ISO pack. So that being the case, I wanted to look at a more standard offering from Wolfpack and a smaller one just to see you know how the smaller sizes compare in functionality to the larger one. So this is a 25 liter. There's a 25, there's a 35, that's the 45. There's also like a 15 and a nine, but those seem like, I don't know, almost like fanny pack sized almost. I'm not sure that I would have much utility for something like that. This is still a little small for me to be honest with you. Um, I do think the pink goes well with something maybe, probably not me. The construction overall is, is very similar. And what I can tell you is that this stuff is really like, exceptionally well built. I should point out, this is not a sponsored review. I bought this thing, this was about 120 bucks. I got this off Amazon. The larger meal management pack was about 190, if I remember correctly. So they're not cheap. They're not cheap by any stretch of the imagination. And I'm always comparing this against the gold standard for me, which is my Swiss gear backpack that I've had since I was in college. And I still use on a regular basis for hauling band equipment around, cables and stuff like that. And it's still in great condition. I mean, it's it's a little beat up, it's been around the block, but it doesn't have any holes or tears in it. So the question that I'm asking myself is, is something like this worth three times the cost of that? And that's debatable because while this thing is really well built, so is that. And I got that thing for like 40 bucks at Target like 25 years ago and it's still holding up. I'm not sure that I really see the value in this other than this does have way more cool factor than a Swiss gear backpack. So if that is important to you, awesome. If we break this thing down, you know, it has the straps along the sides here. Um, you've got your pouches here that expand for holding your shaker cups, water bottles, etc. There's one on each side, has your normal straps. And then the main compartment in here, if I can find the zipper. It's bright pink, you'd think it'd be easy to find, but apparently not. The cool thing about this is it does unzip all the way, and so you can really like flatten the thing out, which is pretty cool. You've got a padded pouch in here for a laptop, which I'm wondering now if this is actually big enough for my laptop. Just a standard kind of elastic-y pouch here, and then one that zips here as well. So you can see the inside right there. Let me check my laptop actually and see if that even fits. This is a standard, like it's a Dell. I think this is a 17 inch laptop. It's pretty, pretty boilerplate, nothing too fancy about it. Uh, it's a tight fit, but it fits, it fits. That was gonna be a real problem. If this thing didn't fit a standard 17 inch laptop, that was gonna be a serious problem. It does, um, it doesn't leave much room for it, but it is well padded all around. So, you know, even though it's a pretty tight fit, I would still trust it. I think that's good. Outside of the main compartment, which I'll zip back up, we have this secondary compartment that's one step closer to the front, which unzips about two thirds, three quarters of the way down. So it doesn't open up quite all the way like the main compartment does. And this is just a hole pretty much. Um, it does have a little pouch in here 
um, that has it has a divider in the middle right here. So there's two pouches and then one full complete one behind there as well. Uh, the the real problem that I have with this bag as I'm looking at it right now, let me open up the uh, the main pouch again and see if that problem extends through there as well. There's just not much. There's not much of a floor in here. Like I don't know if this angle is going to capture that, but there's not much to it as far as depth. So you're still going to be fairly limited as far as the size of any individual thing that you can put in here. One of the things that I like to take to the gym in my bag is um, a toiletries bag, <laughs> stupid as it is, because all my little shit I contain in there. So like my lifting straps, my wrist wraps, I have BFR bands in there that I never use, knee wraps, this, that, and the other thing. There's a whole bunch of little things in there, like my single handles, because I'm total diva and I take my own single handles to the gym with me. Those all go in the little toiletries bag. It's kind of big, it's kind of bulky, but it keeps everything contained. Like that's gonna cause this whole thing to deform. You can't really fit any big thing in here, anything that's, that's substantial. Beyond that secondary pouch, we have two pouches on the very front here. There's an upper, this thing is tiny. This came loaded with the standard stickers and trading cards, etc. A couple of spare zipper pulls as well. And this is just a plain old small little compartment. Other than that, there's no, no additional pockets in there. This is where the meal management pouch on the other bag would be. This zipper comes down about halfway. So main compartment opens up all the way. The secondary compartment opens up about two thirds. This one opens up about half. So they get a little bit more restrictive as they decrease in size as far as how much they want to open here. This guy just has like a little compartment here. You could stick a phone in there maybe, a couple of pens, keys maybe. Um, and again, not much of a floor in here. If you can kind of get in there and see, just not a lot of depth to this bag. One of the things that I really want though is a bag that will stand upright on its own. That's a pet peeve. I get that. Not, every, not everybody has that. It is important to me. <laughs> so that is one of the things that I love about my ISO pack. For all the flaws of this thing, like this thing will stand up in a hurricane. Like it's got a nice big fat base to it. It's super sturdy. Uh, the only problem is with this, it's lack of pockets. You've got this one giant thing that everything fits in. And then I put my log book in here and that's it. Um, other than you know this completely useless meal management compartment down here um, that has absolutely no practical use at all. I managed to shove like a container with my post-workout carbs in there. The, the storage on that, it's a much bigger space. It's just not very well segmented. The Wolf Pack bag, honestly, I don't think I'm going to get a lot of utility out of this. Like it's a little bit more useful than the 45 liter meal management bag, assuming of course that you don't need that. So if you're shopping for one of these, the first order of business is to decide, do you want this bag to keep food cold or not? If not, then you're gonna be looking for a backpack and then think about what you're gonna put in it. Based on what I see, again, these aren't the same bag, but they scale in size, the 25 and the 45. Storage is not gonna be radically different. Like it gets a little bit taller, it does not get deeper as you go up necessarily, not in any appreciable way. You'll be able to fit more little things in there, but you're not gonna be able to fit bigger things in the larger bag, if that makes sense. So think about what you have to put in there. Do you need anything that has like, you know, that, that is of a reasonable size? The toiletries bag that I mentioned, this guy, if I take this thing and stick this in this wolf pack bag, I mean, it's gonna, like, <laughs> it's, it, it fits, but barely. And you know, I mean, the bag, uh, the bag is gonna look pregnant if I was able to zip that up. <laughs> so uh, think about the size of the stuff that you're gonna put in this bag. It's not really suitable for large items. It's good for laptop storage. Like even the small bag holds a 17 inch laptop, which is great. It has a few extra compartments um, versus the ISO pack, which is nice as well. The real question though is, uh, does it have value over something like the Swiss gear bag? Okay, I'm telling you, I bought this thing back in the early 2000s. Target, like 40 bucks. It's still in like flawless condition. Like the fabric looks a little, like it's dirty a little bit here and there, but there isn't a single tear on this thing. Like even the mesh pouches, are, they've lost some elasticity. That's the biggest thing. Like I wouldn't necessarily trust a shaker cup in these anymore. It's still in flawless condition. It has these little side pockets here. I don't know what I'm gonna find when I open some of these. It's been a while since I've used this thing. Um, has these side pockets in here, which are great for storing like, I don't know, slightly taller things. They're kind of banana shaped, I guess. You have your main compartment in here, doesn't unzip all the way, has uh, laptop storage. I don't know why I'm showing you this 20 year old bag because you can't find it anymore, but you can find similar bags to this and they're still fairly inexpensive. I looked at them recently. Um, it has this larger pouch in the middle that opens all the way up. You can fit tons of stuff in here. Will this fit? Yep, no problem. Toiletries bag goes in there. And then you've got this component, which is kind of 
designed for, <laughs> still has my engineering mechanical pencils and my eraser in here from engineering school. This goes way back. Uh, yeah, so I mean, I still like this bag, honestly. This has been relegated to kind of like cable management and cable storage for going to gigs when we play out with, with the band, but um, still, it's, uh, it still holds up. The only problem is it is not nearly as cool as this. And I hate to say it, but that kind of matters. <laughs> so you got to make the decision for yourself. Is this worth three times the cost of that? What do you need to store in it? Do you need a meal management bag or do you need just a regular backpack? As always, think about your needs. But now you've seen this, you can compare it to the meal management bag. You can compare it to a more standard backpack and make the right call. So what do you think? Do you have one of these? Do you like it? Am I missing something? Am I completely misinterpreting something here? Uh, is there more to it than meets the eye? I know there's a certain culture associated with this. There is the cool factor. I ain't gonna lie. They all look cool as shit. They absolutely do. I'm pretty immune to this stuff, but the days when I take my wolf pack bag into the gym with me, which are few and far between, because again, it doesn't really fit my needs, but when I do, like, I feel kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. So there is some of that, and I don't think that's to be discounted necessarily. All right, so tell me what you think. Uh, again, if I missed the mark, let me know. Leave a comment. Uh, if you've got something out of this, give the video a like. Consider subscribing to the channel. Is there anything else that I should review? If you have ideas for other products that you'd like to see me tear apart on here, let me know. Leave that in the comments as well. And I thank you all for watching. I'll see you back here next time.